Hello, welcome to Edgebaston High School for Girls. My name is Jess Crimp and I'm one of the deputy heads here at EHS. And I would like to invite you today on a tour of our wonderful school. Edgebaston High School is the oldest independent girls' school in Birmingham. We were founded in 1876. We educate girls from the age of two and a half to 18 and we offer a broad and balanced curriculum for everyone. Welcome to the Senior School. This is the Andy Hall, a great place for the girls to relax and socialise. Here at EHS, we have lots of leadership opportunities throughout the school, culminating in the prefect system in the sixth form. We also have a thriving house system, which has numerous exciting events throughout the year, including the house gala and the hotly contested house quiz. Our girls go on to do amazing things. We have a number of prestigious alumni. We even have a winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. All three sciences are taught here at EHS from Year 7 and they are all taught by specialist teachers. Science are really popular subjects here and many students go on to take them both at A level and beyond. Maths is a very popular subject at EHS. Girls are able to take qualifications in further mathematics both at GCSE and A level if they wish to stretch themselves further. Many girls go on to do degrees in mathematics or STEM related subjects. Here at EHS we offer a broad and balanced curriculum and the humanities are an important part of this. The girls can study geography, history and RS up to key stage three. They can then choose those subjects to carry on at GCSE and A level. Every subject likes to offer field trips. For example, in geography, we do a field trip with every year group and they can even go on a residential trip to Iceland. This is the octagon. It is a multi-purpose space that girls from all year groups can use. We use it regularly for assemblies, for, for performances, plays, parents' evening and many more. Our Octagon has a fully equipped sound and lighting booth. The girls can take part in the technical team where they learn how to use all of the equipment and they are able to do the sound and the lighting for all of our productions and shows. We have three well equipped art studios. The girls study the disciplines of ceramics, fine art and graphics from year seven. They can then choose to do fine art or graphics at both GCSE and A level and they really do produce some fantastic work, as you can see. This is the library, an excellent place to privately study or read a good book. The English department run lots of clubs out of the library, including year-specific book clubs and debating societies, and many of the girls like to attend. There are often delicious aromas emanating from the food and nutrition room. Girls study this subject in year 7, 8 and 9. They can then take it as a GCSE if they wish to as well. We also offer a lot of extracurricular activities in this area. Girls can do fine dining for enrichment and they can also be in a cooking club. We have a thriving D&T department where the girls specialise in textiles. Right from year seven, the girls start making garments where they make some pyjamas. As they get older, their designs get more and more complicated and you can see these beautiful jackets. We're very lucky to have lots of equipment here to help us in the department. We have a laser cutter and a 3D printer. Our pastoral team is second to none. We have a dedicated team of teachers including heads of year and form tutors to help your daughter in any way they can. 
We also have a team of sixth form mentors. They will help the girls with personal problems or perhaps with a subject issue. In Year 7, we have a transition office where the head of year is based. She can help the girls with anything to do with settling in. Girls all the way from Westbourne to senior school have lessons in the music block, from orchestras to choirs and ensembles. Girls can also take individual music lessons in a wide range of instruments. We offer a lot of different languages at EHS, both modern and classical. Girls can study French, German, Spanish and Mandarin. They can also study Latin from Year 7 and they can take Classical Greek for GCSE and ALA. Sport is a really important part of life at EHS. Girls benefit from regular PE lessons and we also have use of our very own pool, fitness suite and dance studio. Girls can take part in both team and individual sports. And if we have something that the girls are interested in and we don't yet have that club, we encourage them to set up their own. For example, a couple of years ago, a girl set up a hula hooping club and it was a real hit. EHS is situated very close to Birmingham City Centre, so we're very fortunate to have these fantastic grounds. We've got lots of space for the girls to play hockey and netball on our AstroTurf and our netball courts. We also have extensive playing fields for athletics, rounders and any other sports the girls might want to play. Recently refurbished pavilion and changing rooms are an excellent facility for the girls to use and the parents when we've got matches and sports days and any other events down at the field. Life in the sixth form is a little bit different. The girls now get to choose three or four A levels they wish to study and they also get free periods. Many of those free periods are spent studying in the library. The rest of the time they get to spend in this lovely social space here. We have a wide variety of subjects on offer at A-level at EHS including the traditional subjects studied at GCSE, as well as a whole host of new subjects, including media studies, sociology, psychology, economics, as well as dance, PE and design and technology. The sixth form have their very own well-appointed kitchen, where they can fix themselves some lunch, or they can make themselves cups of tea and hot chocolate at any point they'd like to. We support the girls in every stage of their journey, here in the Sixth Form Centre we have a dedicated careers office and UCAS room. The girls can go here for advice and support about university and life beyond. Thank you for joining me on this tour of EHS today. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. <laughs>